If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to episode 76 of Learn JMeter series. In this video, we are going to see about how you can get started with JMeter DSL. DSL is nothing but a computer language specialized in a particular application domain. Think of a, a HTML or regular expressions. So these are the programming language got created to solve a particular problem. Similarly, JMeter DSL got created to solve particular pain points, which we are going to see it in a moment. So this JMeter DSL is an open source initiative from Abstractor. Basically, you write uh, JMeter test plan as code in Java and then you can convert, you can debug, you can visualize and you can do a lot of things. So we are going to eventually see the uh, features of uh, DSL. But why we need the uh, JMeter DSL? As you know, JMeter used to be a developer tool. Uh, it was created to test the Apache JavaServe. Uh, nowadays it is called uh, Tomcat by the developer called uh, uh, Stefano. So he created JMeter to test the uh, JSERVE application. But after uh, several announcements, uh, features and improvements from the community, it became a tool for uh, test engineers as well. Mainly because of the uh, GUI and also uh, extensively you can plug into JMeter in various ecosystem. But what problem the uh, JMeter DSL is solving? As you know, JMeter test plan is a XML format. XML format is not very uh, friendly from a Git perspective and also the uh, developer perspective. If you want to review uh, some test plan, you need to open it with uh, JMeter and you have to review and you have to approve your pull request. So these are the uh, pain points of uh, using the vanilla JMeter. But if you write the same design or same code in Java, then it will become more friendly in uh, Git and also it is very easy to review the pull request and you can easily embed that in uh, CI-CD uh, pipelines. Vanilla JMeter, you can embed with CI-CD, but when you use the JMeter DSL, it is more uh, friendly uh, in terms of uh, CI-CD integration, and also you can extend the JMeter capabilities further. So eventually we are going to see the features of uh, JMeter DSL, but on a high level, these are the problems uh, JMeter DSL is solving. And these are the list of features uh, I have uh, uh, extracted from the official uh, repository. DSL right now it has the advanced uh, third group uh, configuration and also you can easily debug uh, reporting and then you can work with extractions, a uh, few logical controllers and there is a separate project called uh, converters where you can convert the uh, DSL to uh, JMeter test plan. And also you can use the uh, visualization uh, to, see, to uh, see your design of your test plan. So now let us see a quick demo uh, how you can get started with uh, JMeter DSL. So here I'm going to use IntelliJ as my favorite editor, but uh, of course you can use uh, any uh, favorite IDEs for your uh, getting started with uh, DSL. So here I am already created the uh, build.gradle, basically it's a Gradle uh, project, and you have to make the uh, dependencies uh, as is. So this repository link, I will put it in the description. You can uh, just copy and paste as it is. So here we are uh, importing the uh, abstract uh, JMeter. So this is the uh, Java DSL uh, we are importing. And then uh, we are making use of uh, JUnit and also uh, assert J. Optionally, you can also have uh, log4j if you are uh, logging the uh, information. And if you keep scrolling, uh, there is a must uh, uh, mandatory requirement for the uh, Gradle project, which is uh, a cacheable rule. And then you have to uh, uh, add this class, which implements the component metadata rule. So the reason is uh, available in this particular uh, uh, bug, uh, Bugzilla link. Uh, you can just uh, see uh, the more context. So why we need to add the uh, this particular uh, cacheable rule. So after adding these dependencies, and then uh, you can create a new uh, class under the uh, test folder Java, and then you can just name it as a hello world test. Now let me open this hello world test. And as usual, you have to import these directives. Uh, so that uh, uh, we can use the uh, methods and classes uh, eventually in our code. So here I have uh, three uh, features I am uh, listing. So one is a typical uh, execution. So we have to design a third group. So line number 14, you are designing a, a test plan basically. And line number 15, uh, you are uh, mentioning the uh, third group with one thread and one iteration. 
and within the thread group uh, we are going to create a http sampler so this http sampler will hit example.com so by default it is the uh, get method and this html http uh, sampler will have a children of a response assertion which will check for the substring example domain so this is our uh, third group so after this i am adding a jtl writer which will create a new uh, jtl file so jtl file will have your uh, performance uh, statistics and it will have the prefix hello world and then it will just uh, append the uh, current time and then it is doing uh, some uh, replacement uh, with respect to uh, from uh, uh, colon to hyphen because colon is not the right syntax for any file name so now to execute this uh, there are multiple ways you can do you can just right click simply and then click on uh, run or you can just uh, click on run button and click on uh, the hello world test so now this will uh, run this particular test plan uh, basically it will hit example.com with one thread one iteration and then it will display the performance statistics and also it will create a new jtl in the current directory with hello world as a prefix and with the while extension uh, dot jtl okay now the execution has been completed as you see here it executed one thread uh, with one iteration uh, with the average response time of 1.1 second and you can also see there is a, a jtl file got created if you just open the jtl file you can see the performance statistics so this is how you get started with the simple test plan in jmeter dsl so now let me uh, comment this and let us uh, uncomment the second uh, section so this section basically it will uh, save your jmeter dsl as jmeter test plan so here line number 33 uh, it will save the test plan uh, as uh, hello world dot jmx now let me just execute this particular uh, section so now as you see here it created hello world dot jmx now if you double click you can see your uh, xml view of your test plan so this is how you save your test plan into uh, jmx now let me comment this and let us uh, display the uh, gui so basically this will be very helpful for uh, debugging and it will display the jmeter gui with the elements uh, whatever we have added in this uh, class so now let me execute this so as you see here it has automatically uh, created the thread group and if you expand the thread group you can see the http request and this http request uh, has uh, example.com with the protocol https and this will have a, a child element uh, for the uh, response assertion and by default uh, it is adding the cookie manager cache manager and also you can see the jtl writer so this is how you can uh, visualize your test plan from the code uh, to the gui and uh, again you can do a lot of stuffs so we have just scratched the surface of jmeter dsl uh, please let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching have a great day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel